Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I am Skill Jim, and today we're going to be taking a look at the brand new Sega Shop UK slash Europe Collector's Coin Binder. Um, this is for all of their monthly coins. And a little bit later in the video, we're going to be taking a look at all of the other types of coin and pin badge that um, either Sega Shop have released or I've, I've collected over the years, uh, along with some actual, um, I think they're called like button, button badges, are they? Those types of badges, I'll, I'll class them as pins for the sake of this video. Um, actually, gobsmacked at how many pins I've uh, actually attained over the years, which a little bit concerning actually because not too long ago I was saying I'm not really one to collect pin badges and it's kind of the Sega shop that have almost encouraged this kind of addiction that I've got. So I'm going to go and show you everything that I actually own pin badge wise. Uh, what's going on here? Is there some sellotape on this or is it just a magnetic? Oh, okay don't know what happened there. Oh, there was like some sort of a glue uh, in the middle there to keep it shut, which is a bit strange considering it was wrapped. It's kind of left like a little bit of a raised um, mark on there, unfortunately. Um, good job. I guess it didn't rip any of the, the, the paper off there. But yeah, really nice little collector's ring binder. Um, Obviously, these are all the coins that are going to be throughout the year. January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December. So, as you can see, the names of them, what we've got coming up. We already had Crazy Taxi, Be My Player 2 is like a Valentine's Day, Choo Choo Rocket, Sonic Running, Somebody May Go, Tails, Chow, Sonic Rings, Knuckles, Eggman Robotics Corp, or Core, and Jet Set Radio, and Space Channel 5 at the bottom. Those two are going to be really cool. A lot of them are very much sonic centric right so i believe this first package i've got here should be january and february's coins so we'll take a quick close inspection of them i'm to show my address oops <laughs> that may have just shown it hopefully not right okay so they come in these cool um plasticky sort of bags there so this is January, which is Crazy Taxi. Let's get that coin out. And I'll try and do my best to get that sort of focus on there. Um, crazy Taxi, Sega. And that's obviously the Crazy Taxi graphic logo or whatever on the front there. Really nice coin. We're going to stick it upright and try and get it as perfect, perfectly aligned in there as possible. You can always poke it out, which is nifty. And then this is February's coin, which again is very much a Valentine's Day themed coin, be my player too. Um, one of my friends actually has used one of these as a sort of a proposal thing, along with a, an engagement ring or, or whatever, I believe. Um, this was sort of like a, <laughs> to seal, seal the deal in terms of uh, asking someone to, to marry them, which is cool, and congratulations. So yeah, that's that coin. Let's put that in its display case. The collector's coin is snapping really nicely. And then the last coin, this is this month's coin, which is March, of course, if you uh, weren't aware. <laughs> there we go. It's the Choo Choo Rocket coin, which is uh, quite a unique one, really. You don't expect to see any Choo Choo Rocket merch really these days in 2024. Obviously it's a little cat. And Choo Choo Rocket logo on the rear. Let's pop that in there. And then there. Yeah, we'll potentially fill that and show that off in the upcoming months as time goes by. Right, so this is where we get into some madness now. So first I'm going to start with previous coins of Sega. So everything I'm going to show you now is Sega themed, as far as I'm aware. So first up, we've got the Knuckles 25th anniversary coin and the Amy 25th anniversary coins. Um, I'm not sure if they did any other characters. If I did, if they did, I, I didn't 
pick them up like if they did a tails one um so yeah that's the knuckles queen on the rear it says 25th anniversary really nice thick queen shit and only we dropped it that was um i think that was seek shop wasn't it seek shop numskull did a, a nice line of merch like this so this is a 25th anniversary amy queen and again on the rear a nice sort of logo there for amy there. Then we've got the Jet Set Radio coin, which they did quite a while back now. Uh, it's made to look like a record. Let's look at the funk. Side B, this is most disturbing. And side A, let's look at the funk. This is most disturbing. Yeah. Same sort of thing, both sides, at least the text is. Nice um, artwork on that one. And then there's the Shenmue coin. Um, Obviously my favourite, <laughs> the Shemu 1 box. I wish they'd have done a, a line of Shemu 2 merch. Obviously one side, we've got the, the dragon mirror design. And on the other side, we've got the phoenix mirror design. <clears throat> Next, we've got just a Go Sega, which was obviously for Sega's 60th anniversary. That's why it's a Go Sega. It's kind of like a, a 6 and a G combined that was the, the theming there really nice little uh, sega logo and sonic sonic's logo head there 60th anniversary it's a nice coin to commemorate sega's 60th and we've got some random coins now <clears throat> so this was given to attendees of the 25th anniversary for sonic um event that was in i think it was was it san francisco or something like that it was where they revealed um forces and mania i believe and then they did the, the concert and stuff it was a really cool event i didn't actually go but um subsequently picked one of these up from ebay like the whole press pack thing uh, really nice at the time very sought after um some cool items there was like a usb stick um i think with mania wallpaper maybe a song on um this coin which i wanted that was like the main attraction um press pass and possibly a tote bag and i'm sure there was something else that i'm, I'm forgetting about that was pretty good maybe even a t-shirt i can't quite remember um, and then we've got these 25th anniversary coins that came with some figures i believe um, so there was a sonic coin a tails coin and a knuckles coin And we've got a, a larger 30th anniversary Sonic coin. This is really nice from 1991 to 2021. 2021. <laughs> That's probably the best way of saying that. I don't know what's on the other side, actually. Shall we have a quick look? Not sure if I've ever opened this. Maybe I did. Maybe I've even done this on another video. There's the 30th anniversary logo. Really cool coin there. Plank that down. And then this was, I think, I believe, a Zavi exclusive. Um, not sure if I've ever opened this, but maybe, maybe I have. Um, don't know if I'm not bothered actually, but yeah. So this was a silver limited edition coin. Sonic's the name, speeds my game. And I'm guessing you've got the Eggman with the crystals or the Chaos Emeralds or whatever on the back there. Numbered. Um, yeah, just a random coin that they did. And that is it as far as coins go. So now we're going to get into some sort of murky territory here with... Um, a crazy collection of Sega pins, or at least it's crazy to me. Um, do I start with the actual pins? Let's get rid of the button badges first. Okay, guys, so you've probably seen this on an unboxing previously. These are these nice Japanese artworks. This was obviously from Ebtem at some point. Uh, really nice, cool Sonic pin button badge style badges. Um, I've got a Sonic the Hedgehog badge, badge pack. Couldn't tell you where I've got that from. Maybe it was in like one of those loot crate sort of things or something at some point. And it's same thing with this. This is a, a Genesis, so I would have thought because it would have been difficult for me to get a Genesis themed badge pack. And um, we've got 30th Sonic Anniversary or Sonic 30th Anniversary is probably a better way of saying it. These two large pin badges, which are cool. And then I've got when I was started getting into the Sega um, ages 
2500 collection on the, the PS2. Um, some of the auctions I was buying some of the games from came with these, I think they'd be like DX packs that came with additional badges. These button things. Um, some of the things I've got like a toothbrush, I think, <laughs> was one of them, an electronic toothbrush. Um, there was also a, what's that game called? It'll come to me in a bit, I can't think of it at the top of my head. Um, that there. Last Bronx, yeah, I got like um, 2500 DX pack collection thing there. Oh, I'm going to pin badge territory here, actually. Uh, then I've got a very old original Sonic 2 um, button badge. I've got a 2019 Sega Fez button style pin badge. Um, I wish Sega were still doing those Fez, Fez events because obviously they were incredible at the time. Very much a celebration of Sega. Uh, music and game announcements, etc. Really cool. And a thing that you could actually attend in Japan, it's like something I would literally want to go out my way to um, go to if I was in Japan with, with my news. Hopefully they, they do another in the future. This is a, a Toe Jam Earl. I believe this was from Limited Run Games. I don't think it was anything to do with the Kickstarter. I think that was came with one of the, the game packs. I've got a set of four. I think these were with a Games Master magazine for Sonic's 20th anniversary. Four pin badges. It's like Sonic Generations and that's the best Sonic adventure logo. Um, then I'm not sure which came first, but we've got a series of Dreamcast, the, the orange version. These were available at TGS. Um, I think these were in like gachapon machines, like capsule toy things. You could win these. Um, don't ask me why I bought some of these. I just I was I think I was trying to get the full set. I'm not sure if this is the full set or um, or not. I don't know. But as you can see, all different types of Sega games. You've got Space Channel Five, Samba the Omega, um, Skies of Arcadia, Res. Sakura Wars, Jet Set Radio, Mahjong Games, Sonic Adventure, Sega Gaga, Fancy Star Online, Crazy Taxi, and Virtual Fighter 3. That might be the set, actually. Although it is missing one, because I've got that right here in one of the original capsules that you would um, get these things from, these badges from. It was, of course, Shenmue, the orange variant there. Kept that in there, because obviously that's part of my... Shemu collection, which is my pride and joy <laughs> of literally like everything that you could ever possibly want for Shemu. I have. Um, and just actually, yeah, because we'll move into the blue, the blue ones now, because that's all the orange ones. So this is the blue set that the Eva did the year before or the year after. I think the blue was 2016, I believe, the year after. I think these were 2015. So slight variant. This is the blue version. And I've got that in, actually in a blue capsule. If you notice the other one, was in sort of a semi-orange-red capsule. Pretty cool. I'll just show this off as a bit of a stopgap. So this was the Sonic Rocks. This was an Ebb 10 thing back in the day. I think I even unboxed it. Then we've got some more of the blue versions. We've got uh, Mega Drive, Space Channel 5, Virtual Fighter, Dreamcast, and Saturn. So, probably should get a Mega Drive, <laughs> Dreamcast, and Saturn. Well, Saturn and Dreamcast there, like that. Then we've got some other ones. We've got some black versions. I'm not sure what year this was from. Um, Puyo Puyo, Sonic 1, uh, Mega Drive Genesis again, and Herzog's Way. And I've got some Sonic ones. Uh, we've got Amy, Cream and Cheese, Rouge, Tails, and Vector. Oh, there's another one, a Wonder, Wonder Mega, just under my uh, arse there. <laughs> right, so we're moving into actual pins now, guys. So these were from Japan. 
Uh, these are really cool sets, actually. These are 20th anniversary Dreamcast pin set, uh, 25th anniversary Sega Saturn pin set, uh, 30th anniversary Mega Drive and Game Gear pin set. So that's like all of the consoles, all of the releases, really cool. Go in that order there. Don't know if I'll be able to fit all these on, but if I can, bloody hell, this will be a very good thumbnail. <laughs> right. Moving swiftly into some Loot Crate stuff now. So they, in 2018, they did these Sonic Emerald pins. So we've got a blue one. Sort of a lighter blue. Aqua, possibly. Pink, emerald. Uh, gold slash yellow pin. Um, crystal colour, like a white crystal colour. Uh, green, red and Metal Sonic collectible pin. This was a Japanese one, just Sonic and Tails, really cool, I like that one. We can go there. How much space have we got on the, the old table there? Okay, we can fill this side. Definitely thumb, thumbnail worthy. <laughs> right, it's just some oddball ones. We've got a Sega powered pin, I'll put that there. That was obviously a cool Sega powered, Sega magazine. Um, Hopefully they continue. We've kind of gone a bit of a hiatus, unfortunately, with that debug magazine. Uh, we've got Sonic Superstars pin, which we got from EGX uh, 2023. And then a cooler one, actually, I really like this one. This is uh, something that Flagship gave me, uh, which he got from Gamescom 2023. It's a Sonic Superstars pin. I've got an original Sonic 2 pin from probably like 1992. Um, there. Ooh. Right, guys, we're coming to some really good pins now. So we've got Sonic as Hello Kitty. Remember when they did that? I think that was at the 25th anniversary event. We've got Tails as whoever that's supposed to be. Choco something, is it? Uh, Amy as like My Malady or something. And Knuckles as, I don't know. And then we've also got a silver limited edition Hello Kitty Sonic. Right, I don't think I'm going to have enough space actually for, um, for this. Let's um, put that on there. I'll try and fit these. I don't think I'm going to even fit these there, can I? It's going to be tricky, 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 tricky to fit all this on. Right, so we've got some pen kings. These were available on the Sega shop. In fact, I'm going to move them there. Let's go Sonic, Knuckles, and Tails there. Okay, so Sega Saturn. A couple of pins there. Uh, Game Gear. Then we've got some Sonic ones. A couple of these, maybe even all three, were uh, sent from Casey very kindly for taking part in some Sega Lounge quizzes over the years. Um, so, yeah, really appreciate that. Some cool pins there. Let's see if we can squeeze these in somewhere. There we go. Cool. Right, another pin that Flagship gave me from Gamescom. This was for Somebody Amigo. The Party Central one, the, the new game. It's like the new version of II. Pretty cool fold away pin there. Exclusive to Gamescom, I guess. Promo item. Yeah, I've got some space over here, but I've, I've still got quite a bit, guys. Um, and then from EGX, we picked up these uh, Ryuga Gotoku pins. Obviously, the studio that make the Lego Dragon slash Yakuza games. That's a pretty cool pin. Nifty, that was in it inside a tote bag as well. You just got that just for playing one of the games. We've got some more Go Sega Pin Kings version. I think that was a Japanese pin. I bought at one point. Oh, we're struggling. We are struggling for space. And then a Japanese Sega pen. It's kind of like an employee badge. <laughs> That's the way it looks like to me. And as part of Game Blast 23, this last year we um, took part raising money for special effect. That's a keyring actually. Sega Europe team actually sent these. Uh, nice Sega pins there for as a, as a thank you for taking part. 
Right, these I'm definitely not going to fit on camera, but these were... Were these Sega Shop, original Sega Shop pins? From back in the day, these are really cool actually, how they fold out like that. Check that out. You've got this sort of old school TV set up there with the posters of Golden Axe, Streets of Rage, and all three of them are pins. So you've got like two controllers and a humongous Mega Drive pin there. They didn't make a Saturn one as far as I'm aware for some reason, unfortunately. But uh, yeah, these ones are actually cool. I've got a Dreamcast version here, which is nice. Let's see what's the posters. So you've got a Jet Set Radio poster and a Fancy Star Online poster. Um, Dreamcast, same, two controllers and big console pin. Really, really cool. I'm just going to plonk that on top of the Mega Drive one. It's not even on the camera, is it, that? Let's see what happens when we get through these last ones. So we've got a few more pin kings for Dreamcast. So there was the Saturn here with the Dreamcast. I don't think I picked up the Mega Drive just because... Um, like, Mega Drive is amazing, of course, but if the Sega Saturn and Dreamcast, I'd, I'd be picking those up over uh, Mega Drive stuff. I got this as um, Sega 60th Anniversary pin. So this was part of... Oh, this was the stamp collection. Uh, I'll put that as a, a video that you can watch at the end there, because we did unbox the stamp collection from Japan, and it came with these nice pins. I'll plonk them there. I don't know if they're even on camera. Not really, but yeah. And there's more pinkings. This is for Jet Set Radio. We're really running out of space now. I don't even know. Is that even in the camera? No. Let's go there for now. Let's see if we can squeeze all these on. Right, so let's cover some Shenmue ones now. So this was for Shenmue the Animation. This was an extra fine Shenmue stamps, actually. So from the Japanese post office in Japan, <laughs> they did this Shenmue-themed pen set. Really, really nice. You've got the, the Dragon Mirror, the Phoenix Mirror, um, the Hazuki Tiger, um, Ryo on a forklift, and the Shenmue the Animation logo there. Really nice. This is probably my favourite bit of Shenmue the Animation merch. Um, I'm not going to put that in the bag on camera, but put that, plunk that right in the middle there, actually. Really cool. And then I thought this, um, if anyone remembers Sega Heroes, the mobile phone game that was released a while back, and obviously it's finished now. Um, they did um, some promotional pin badges for different characters. This is the Ryo Hazuki pin. Plunk that down there. Right, we're getting into what this whole pin collection kind of originated from in the first place with the Sega Shop pins. But before we got that, when I was in China in 2018, uh, Shanghai Hard Rock had that and it just looked identical to the Dragon Mirror. You can even see the, the jewel in the middle. I thought that was sick. So I, I had to pick that up from the Hard Rock Cafe. Um, over the years, Titch has created some cool Shenmue theme badges. This is pretty much a one-off for me only. So we've got my, obviously my avatar display picture. There's one Shenmue Dojo pin badge. Now that's what I call Jim's Poetry Corner 2023 pin badge and a Shenmue Will pin badge, really cool. And then these are some of the pins that, I don't know if they're still available on her store. Better check, probably put a link in the description if you're interested in any of these pin badges. She makes them herself, um, yeah, really cool designs. I did want to try and get the the all of the the I think she did maybe like sixty or something different designs. Um, here's the uh, full voodoo as well. Pretty cool, pretty cool pin badges. Right, which brings us to Sega Shop Europe's pin of the month. So I'm, I'm not quite sure how long they've been doing it, but we've got a stack of pins from um, these monthly pins that they've been doing. Um, I'll start with the Shenmue one. I can't remember what order they actually released these in, but yeah, again, there's the, the dragon mirror design. It's sort of the go-to Shenmue design, isn't it, for these pins and coins and whatnot, but really nice. We've got Sonic on a snowboard. We've got a Yakuza, like a dragon style um, crest for, I forget the name of the clan, but I think that's the, the Kiryu's clan, or whatever. 
um, Golden Axe. Crazy Taxi. Amy. Alex Kidd. Rye Star. That's a nice one. We've got Silver. This one randomly came in a like one with the back in there, but that was for Sonic 2 the movie. Put that there. Altered Beast logo. I don't even know if that's on the camera. Um, Knuckles as a pirate for some reason. Shadow. Eye Eye from Super Monkey Ball. Are these on the camera here? Don't, I think I'm going off the camera there, so let me put I out there, because he's a really cool one. We've got a Graffiti Soul from Jet Set Radio. We've got Tails. That was one of the original ones they did, actually, I think. It's a, quite a bit smaller. And the last one, Samba the Amigo. Or Amigo, actually. And that, my friends, <laughs> is an insane amount of pins. Okay, so you can... There is a little bit of space there. Obviously, I've got these Shenmue capsules um, that we couldn't really fit unless maybe we can squeeze them here. There you go. Oh, the blue one's not really on the camera there. Let's make, make sure the blue one's on there because we've got to get the Shenmue ones in the picture the most, haven't we? In fact, I might move that out of the way. Where should we put that? Let's put that in this segment here. Uh, let's see if I can put that underneath. There we go, guys doing a lot of faffing, but uh, just trying to create my thumbnail, aren't I? Which is, uh, oh, bollocks in the bum hole. Yeah. Basically, yeah, you can kind of see what's going on there. There's a lot of stuff there. I could probably have put silver a bit more in display there at the, the bottom corner. That pretty much fills every little spot up there, doesn't it? Got these titch ba badges. Um, you kind of can't really see them, can you? Unless I zoom out a tiny bit. Can I zoom out a tiny bit? Ooh. Not really, because um, you can see some of the shit off camera on my feet. <laughs> I can go to about there, and the camera stops jiggling. I'll leave all this in, by the way, guys. You know I like to be very much uncut, uncensored. Don't know where to put these. Sorry, Titch, we'll just put them to one side just so I can fit everything on. We've got some Titch there anyway, and I pushed bump these up very slightly just to give that effect there. You can kind of see the binder there, actually, that I completely forgot about. But yeah, that's it then, guys. That is my coin slash pin slash button style badges collection. Um, a collection that kind of originates from what's the earliest badge? Probably these button badges from 2015 actually like some of the original sonic ones actually like that sonic 2 badge um the button badge there that i had originally when i was a kid um but yeah hopefully you've enjoyed looking through all of those random pin badges and buttons and whatnot and coins um some really cool stuff in there um i don't think the type of thing i want to take to my grave with me like must have collection items um, the Shenmue ones, obviously, will they will go in my grave <laughs> with me. Um, but yeah, um, hopefully you've enjoyed that. I don't really know what else to say, guys. But yeah, I'll link the video, whatever I mentioned earlier, for that other thing. If you've enjoyed that, please give me a like, subscribe, um, whatever other stuff people say on these types of YouTube videos. Much appreciated, guys. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you on the next video. Take care.